An unheard of claim has surfaced from the Russian side. Moscow says it shot down four US made missiles over Russian territory. The Russian Defence Ministry said on Monday that its air defence system shot down several US made missiles over a southern Russian region bordering Ukraine. Средствами противовоздушной обороны за сутки сбито 8 украинских беспилотных летательных аппаратов в районах населенных пунктов Миловатка, Плащанка, Нижняя Дуванка Луганской Народной Республики, Волноваха, Николаевка Донецкой Народной Республики, Приютная Запорожской области и Каиры Херсонской области. Кроме того, перехвачено 6 реактивных снарядов систем залпового огня «Хаймарс» и «Ураган» в районах населенных пунктов Сладкая, Дебальцево Донецкой Народной Республики, Кремена и Луганской Народной Республики и Любимовка Запорожской области. В воздушном пространстве Белгородской области сбиты 4 американские противорелационные ракеты «Харм». Although the Pentagon says it's not been able to confirm these claims, it's bound to raise some unease between the US and Kyiv. Washington made it clear multiple times that US supplied weapons are to be used for the defense of Ukraine. It also implied that the weapons cannot be used to attack Russian territory. The Pentagon has also expressed unease on early reports of attacks on Russian territory. Meanwhile, there's been a reminder that the West's ongoing aid to Ukraine is not guaranteed Voices from the UK and Italy have been raising demand and demanding some restraint. While the UK PM Rishi Sunak announced a new military aid package of over 300 million US dollars to Ukraine, he's also reportedly ordered an audit of, Ukraine, uh, of the Ukraine war progress. Senior figures fear the PM may be taking an overly cautious approach. As the war enters a key phase, the report says the audit, known as a data-driven assessment, We'll also, we'll also assess the significance of the UK's military contributions to Ukraine, which could mean a greater scrutiny of military aid. Meanwhile, the Italian Defence Minister also expressed some reservations on military aid to Ukraine. He said the European Union should provide financial support to countries that were supplying Ukraine. Ha auspicato sempre che l'Europa in qualche modo desse un aiuto anche economico agli stati che hanno aiutato di più l'Ucraina. Finora l'Italia è stato uno dei paesi che l'ha aiutata di più, perché comunque parliamo di scorte che facevano parte delle scorte nazionali di tutti i paesi che le hanno date. Come ripensare a queste scorte? Se farlo attraverso un rimborso di quello che è stato dato, farlo collettivamente attraverso la spesa europea, perché è calorò.